Hey guys, what's up? This is Randall from Crypto Love, and today I want to put together this video to show you how to buy your first Bitcoin, and then, if you want to, how to go ahead and buy some cryptocurrencies. So to begin with, what you'll do is, on any of my videos, even this video down in the description, uh, you'll want to take a look at the video, click okay. show more on the description. You want to click on the video, click show more on the description, and then you'll see this get $10 free Bitcoin on Coinbase. You're going to want to click that. And that's going to bring you to a page that looks very much like this. It says Randall invites you to try Coinbase. Uh, if you sign up here, then when you do sign up and put in $100, we'll both get $10 of free Bitcoin. So that's pretty awesome. All you have to do is put in your first, last name, email, choose a password, click this I'm not a robot, certify that you're 18 or older, and click sign up. And then once you do that, you'll sign up, you'll have a Coinbase account. Now, when you go into Coinbase, it's going to look like this. This is your Coinbase dashboard, tells you a little bit about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So if you'll see, it shows you the prices right now of Bitcoin, of Ethereum, and also of Litecoin. Uh, also, if you scroll down, it shows you a little bit more about your portfolio and recent activity, any purchases you've made recently. Now, what you'll want to do is once you set up this account and you'll have to go in there and uh, either use a credit card or a bank account that you'll link it up with, what you'll do is you'll click this buy sell tab and then decide if you wanna buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Easiest way, just go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. So you'll click on the Bitcoin bu button, choose your payment method, and then choose how much you wanna buy. Uh, you can either buy a fixed amount in US dollars or you can buy a certain amount of Bitcoin. Like if you wanna buy one Bitcoin and hold one Bitcoin, that's how you would do it. Then if you want to, you can repeat that by either daily, weekly, every two weeks, or monthly, which is great for dollar cost averaging. I have a whole video about that if you want to check it out. Uh, and then click buy Bitcoin. Once you do that, you are now an owner of Bitcoin. Very cool. And that's great because Bitcoin is projected to be very worthwhile in the future. Once you have your Bitcoin, you can head over to another site called Bitrix. And I'm going to have all the URLs, all the websites down in the description of this video, but you'll head over to Bitrix. And when you first get to Bitrix, you're going to be greeted with a page like this. Now this shows what's going on with Bitrix, which cryptocurrencies are movers and shakers. And you may say, hey, there's a lot going on here. And there is because there's over a thousand cryptocurrencies at the time I'm making this video. There will probably be a lot more by the time you watch this video. But this takes a look at some of the more popular ones and also the ones that have changed a lot recently in terms of gains or losses. Now in order to buy cryptocurrencies on Bittrex exchange or any other exchange, you're going to have to deposit Bitcoin onto that exchange. Now you just bought some Bitcoin on Coinbase, now you need to deposit it on Bittrex. Well, how do you go ahead and do that? You're going to click on this wallets tab. And now for you, it's probably going to have Bitcoin up top because you haven't purchased anything yet. But for me, I have holdings in a lot of different cryptocurrencies. So if you need to, you can type in Bitcoin and you'll find uh, Bitcoin on there. You don't wanna do Bitcoin Cash, you don't wanna do Bitcoin Dark, you don't wanna do Bitcoin Gold or any of the other things there. You want just Bitcoin and the symbol is BTC so you can make sure that you're buying, that you're exchanging Bitcoin. And you wanna click this plus button. This plus button there is going to allow you to deposit Bitcoin into your account. And you just make sure it says deposit Bitcoin here. Now right here is the address the uh, Bitcoin address of that account. You can copy that address and then go over to Coinbase and you'll go to your accounts tab. And with your Bitcoin, you wanna click this send and then enter your Bitcoin address there. And you just wanna make sure that the address here and the address on your BitTrust exchange match up identically. Because if they don't, that means the Bitcoin is not going to your Bittrex wallet and you won't be able to recover it. So you just wanna make sure, this is the most important part of all this, make sure both of these addresses match exactly. All right, as long as they do, you can determine how much you want to transfer. And then if you click continue, it'll send it. And that'll send that right over to Bittrex. Now, uh, once you have sent it, it can take a little while for it to be acknowledged. So you'll notice that pretty soon after you send it, there'll be a pending. So I'll show you here. Looking at Bitcoin, uh, there'll it'll show up in this pending deposit pretty soon after, um, but it's actually going to take a little while, sometimes up to an hour or two for it to be available in Bittrex. And that's just because it has to verify on the blockchain multiple times that that transaction has been made. Now, here comes the exciting part. Once you have done that, uh, 
once you have deposited Bitcoin into the Bittrex account, you can go ahead and buy any type of cryptocurrency you want. So let's just say, for instance, you wanted to buy one. I'll just say Ethereum. And uh, now Ethereum is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies along with Bitcoin. And you could just buy Ethereum on Coinbase, but I'm just doing this as an, as, as an example to show you what you can do. You're going to find Ethereum and you're gonna click on the symbol there. So ETH. And then you'll get a chart that looks like this. Now this is the 30 minute candles. This tells us a bit about what the price action is doing. The easiest way to go and buy cryptocurrency is just to go down to this buy Ethereum. And basically you're going to buy it at, uh, at a limit. So people are asking for this much. You're just gonna to go to this ask right here. You're gonna to wanna to click on that. And if you click on that, you'll notice it comes up here into the price for Ethereum. Right now, one Ethereum is 0 0.06 Bitcoin. So then you can decide how many Ethereum you wanna buy. You know, you could buy 100 Ethereum, but that's gonna cost you 6.2 Bitcoin. So if you don't have that much, you could just do another thing where you could buy Ethereum based on how much Bitcoin you have. You could just click this max button and then it'll tell you exactly how much Ethereum you could buy with that. Once you've, de once you've decided that you wanna buy it, you just go ahead and click this buy Ethereum button, boom, and then you buy it and you own it. Now, last thing I'm gonna show you today is a really good website for finding out about cryptocurrencies, about how much they're buying for, how much they're selling for, and a little bit more information about them. That website is called CoinMarketCap. You can go there. They have listed over a thousand cryptocurrencies in lots of different markets. This is the most up-to-date data. There are some other websites like this, but I like CoinMarketCap because it is one of the most generally adopted ones. And if you take a look at this, it has all of the coins listed in terms of market cap, which is basically the amount of the market that they take up. So you can see the first few, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. But you can go down here and really you can research any of them. Uh, in terms of which ones to buy, your safest bet is staying towards the top of this market cap because as you get further away from there, they get, they get riskier, they get to be more speculation. So buying ones that are up towards the top there uh, are generally safer. However, all cryptocurrencies are inherently volatile. Uh, you do want to contact your own financial advisor before buying any. I'm not a financial advisor. But I hope that gave you a little bit of information about how to buy Bitcoin, how to uh, start buying cryptocurrencies, and where to do more research about cryptocurrencies. So there you go. You have it. Have a good one. Peace.